you everybody coming at you from my favorite place out in the wilderness so we have behind the camera hello we have nick now i've got a lot of little things to go over in this video i got to talk some about this machete sheath and then the tarp that i talked about that is a golf cart cover <clears throat> i set it up as a shelter and i'm calling it dave's dome oh did you steal the neighbor's golf cart cover again Sir, really? <laughs> Me? <laughs> no. But anyway, it's a shelter made out of a golf cart cover. And then I've got a camo panel that is an idea that is in the beginning stages. And I'm going to show you the first prototype. But then, and there's several uses for it, and I'll try to explain them. And then I'm going to show the neat little backpacker's table that I had told you about. So, that's cool. So, let, now, let's start out with this machete right here. So, first and foremost, all right, I want you to look at this. Now, uh, this is the Ontario Kukri, okay? Now, if you look at this thing, this is the factory loop. And this thing fits on your belt about right here, which means this thing can stab you like that. So, what I did is I bent up a piece of stainless steel, just like that, and then I welded another loop to it, so that it, it'll hang down like that, like it's supposed to. Now, the other good thing about that, I'm going to go ahead and stick it on this thing. The other good thing about this, I'll put it on my belt here in a little while, is before you had trouble getting it out because it was mounted up here. But with this, you can lean it forward and pull it out away from your body and, and, and take it out of the sheath. See? And I, I like that better. Now, this was the only original part of the sheath. This was not on. I added this. You can kind of see underneath it right there. Can you see how I sewed that on? This is an elastic piece. Now, the reason I did that, for one thing, I didn't like how I couldn't secure the lanyard to this because it was too far away. But the other thing is, is even with this latched, if you were to throw this machete in your backpack, see how far it'll still come out? And you've got a little bit of the blade exposed right here. And that's not good. So what I did is I added this thing. You get a good view on that? And yeah. this, is not, this is not webbing. This is elastic. And so you just stretch it around, and it secures it. And that baby won't move now. And the other good thing about it, is like I say, you can secure your lanyard to it. Just like that. All right. So those are the improvements for the Ontario Kukri Machete Sheath. All right. Isn't that neat? Very. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take his backpack off and I'm going to pull a few things out. And we're going to get ready to set the shelter up. Uh, I'm going to set the shelter up before dark and... Uh, then if we have time, I'm going to show the camo panel. All right, sound good? Sounds great. All right, let's 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 dig through the pack here. All right, this is the perfect spot for our shelter because we've got two trees that are already bent over, and that's what you want. You want two trees bent over like this. Now there's thorns in here, and I'm going to remove the thorns. But as far as these branches, I ain't going to cut any of them off. I'm just going to kind of pull them all over. But the thorns, I don't want the thorns. I don't want them poking a hole in my tar. So, all right, let's, uh, how about right here? Can you see me good right here, Nick? Yeah. Well, let's just do it right here. All right, so, let's take his pack off, and I'm going to talk about a few things. Because a lot of times I like to show kind of what's in the pack ahead of time. I'm going to strap that machete on here in just a minute. All right, let's have a look what we have. <clears throat> have my axe need that later. Take that off. Now I brought a different sleeping bag here because somebody had asked me a couple of questions and I'm going to pull that out and show it and talk about it. But right over here, pull this out. So yeah, and I don't know if y'all can notice, but it's extremely windy and I'm not really sure if that's picking up on the microphone or not. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very windy. Alright, let's put that out up right there. First things first, I'm going to lay this thing out so I can put some stuff on it. And I'm going to lay my lights right there. So that in, case, in case it gets too dark on me, I'll know where to grab the lights. 
Now we have, <clears throat> up in the top here, this is a camo panel idea that we're going to talk about. Uh, this is Dave's Dome. All right, weighs very, very little. I'm going to talk about that when I go to set it up. So we don't need to talk about that. I got some stakes for it. Look at that. <laughs> Velcro sticking to it. I got stakes. I got cordage. Oh, let's see. There's a sleeping mat. Let's put that over there. And we got, we don't need this. We don't need this. We're going to need this. Let's pull this off. Alright, we're going to need that. This is, I think, cooking stuff. Yeah, that's all cooking stuff. Alright. Now, and then I've got the table in the back back here. Now, y'all remember, wait a minute, let me go ahead and Well, I'll unhook this. In the last video, y'all saw how I had this strapped on. I'll, un I'll unhook it later. And also in the last video, I talked about how there was a piece of plastic in the back here to help stiffen this up. Well, this is a piece of Lexan. And see, instead of leaving it clear, I scuffed it up with some fine sandpaper, and it's a piece that's got four holes in it. And it's the exact size for this. So that's going to be the table once we get the shelter set up. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to scrap this machete on. And, oh, one thing I want to talk about here real quick, okay? Now, <clears throat> Nick and I was in REI, okay? And they had on the shelf these lightweight backpackers tents that didn't have a floor. And basically all it was was a nylon dome-shaped cover for anywhere from $70 to $100. And I, I couldn't believe that. I was shocked. So what is a golf cart cover? A golf cart cover is a dome-shaped piece of nylon material for anywhere from $24 to $36. Okay? Now it's got silver on the inside, and silver's not necessarily, it's not necessarily shiny enough to be of reflective quality, but it's enough to lighten up the inside so that you don't have to have a whole lot of light at night and you can see inside. But this is a dome. And just a disclaimer, we didn't actually steal the neighbor's golf cart cover. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. Okay. <laughs> This is a giant dome-shaped piece of material, and it has a zipper door, and when you buy this, you want to buy this for the large golf cart, all right? Now, it has a drawstring to tighten up the bottom around the golf cart, but what I did is I sewed, I ordered some bungee material off Amazon, and I sewed little pieces of webbing on here, and I have the bungee-type material because we're going to stake it down. Isn't that cool? Yep. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out, let's lay that there. Over here, what we're going to do is we're going to try to trim these up a little bit. And I don't really want to cut the little branches off if possible. Uh, what I want to do is trim away all the thorns. All right? Yeah. That sound good? Yeah. All right, let's go at it. Honey. Get rid of some of these thorns, especially down on the ground where I'll be laying. <laughs> yeah. All right. These thorns are taking a lot longer than I thought. They're all over the place. I tried to clear some from around the ground where I'm filming because they kept poking me in the leg. All right, now, uh, I had to cut the little bitty nubs off right here. Look, there's one that I missed because those will poke a hole in the tarp. But something like this won't necessarily poke a hole in it. Let's cut that one off. Now, the thing about these right here, what I'm going to show you is 
If you cut them off, you'll have a nice smooth transition. But what I'm going to try to do is just bend these over like this and tie them off. Because <clears throat> what it does is it adds a little bit more bulk to it. So I'm going to tie that off to start with, just like this. And then I'm going to take that other tree and I'm going to tie that other tree to this tree. And then from here, if you jump 30 minutes into the video, you'll see where we have to undo everything and cut them back off. <laughs> no, hopefully we're going to be able to leave them this way. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this tree, and we're going to pull it over, and we're going to tie it off. Just like that. And see, so what that'll be, look at that, there's one thorn that I missed. Now, as you can see, we have two trees tied together, and I have not completely stripped it. I've only removed what I think will poke the tar. So, let's pull this end down on the ground, and I'm going to stand on this end, like this, and then I'm going to take these. Look at that. Wait a minute. There's one that I missed. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you I hate thorns. Hey, Look at the last man. video. I hate thorns too. Yes, you do. Yeah, you got one in your. Do you know how thorn. long it took to get that thorn out of my hand? A while. Yes. So what I'm going to do here? I still have a mark on my finger. And I'm going to put this in at an angle like that, and then I'm going to put this at an angle like that. So I've got I've got these two things right here at an angle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to feed this paracord through these rings. Oh, man, look at that. There's another one I missed. I hate these things. These are just really messing up with my attitude. Okay, can you see this down here? Sort of. Well, I have the GoPro, so guess what? I can zoom. Oh, you can zoom. Yep. Somebody forgot to charge the batteries. Yeah, we kind of thought about it with the, I don't know, whatever you call that, I already forgot the name of it. <laughs> that special case with the microphones on it. I figured, we kind of figured with how windy it is, it'd probably be picking up the wind really bad. Exactly. You so it's good that we have the other camera. Yeah. Because, you actually, know, we can zoom as well. I'm a, I, I don't, there, I'm there go it ahead. is. Let's go ahead and redo this. I don't think two is enough because this is so stringy. Let's go ahead and put in a third one. Because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling some rocks in here. Let's see if I can find a place to... There we go. Alright. I don't even see the other hooks on camera. Until you put the... Until put the cord in? Yeah, until you put the... Alright, so let's put this through. in here, like this. If it springs up a little bit, that's not going to hurt anything. Alright, so we got one through there. Let's pull a little bit more. Or is that? Oh, wait, there they are. What? <laughs> I had to zoom in more. All right, let's pull that through. All right, we got tied into one hook. And now what we're going to do, we're going to run this through this hook. <gasps> then we're going to go through here, through here. And let's go around this a couple of times through this hook. All right, now that we've got all this done, it takes about three of these for this springy tree to be held down. All right, now that we've got that, let's tie this off, just like this. And see, once you've got this done, once you put the tarp over it, the tarp will kind of help hold it down. So let's see what happens. There you go. Okay, so now you've got it to where this thing will stay like that. Now let's put the dome over it. And those two pieces there should be the entrance. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Now I want to find the zipper here. Let's throw this over the top. Just like that. We're 
We're gonna see if it's big enough. <laughs> Let's turn that around. Yeah, I think that'll work. What we're trying to do is stake this down now. Like I said, this is an experimental idea. I don't even know if it's going to work or not. And I got a feeling that the, the, the branches may be messing me up. Told you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the wind. Yeah. <laughs> this may not work, but it's an experiment. But I'm trying it on the spot. Pull this one out. Where's this other? Now, see, I've got the zipper here for the door. Hey, I think we've said it before. Uh, we don't really test things before the video. So, no. you know, some no. stuff is the first time we've ever done it and you know yeah, and this is definitely it fails it fails you learn from it yeah if it works then great yeah this, yeah this is just something we want to try so all right so now what i got to do is i got to try to stretch around the back of this worked out absolutely horrible okay I, mean, <laughs> I think it was choice of trees because it was very very narrow and so what I had to do is I had to find a vine, and I had to cut a vine off to get it over in there. So what we're going to do next, it's never going to be beautiful. It's never going to be beautiful. You're not trying to win a beauty contest. But what matters is will there be enough length to put my mat in. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crawl in, and I'm going to see. Now see, I really need another uh, another vine to lift this up on this side. But I'm going to see if this will fit. Oh, under there. I said this ain't gonna win no beauty contest, but we're gonna have to try to pull over this way. Uh, walk around here for just a second. Maybe a little shaky. I'm just holding the camera by itself. We had to push this down a little bit more because the length of it wasn't long enough to go over this long stick, and we had to put two rocks to help hold it down because when we went further up the stick, the pressure was even more. And I need to cut another vine and put it in the roof to hold this part out. But as you can see, there's a vine right here holding this part out. So yes. we need to support this out. So it may not be a great idea instead of, I mean, you have to choose trees. And unfortunately, you're probably going to have to just cut trees down. I know people don't like that, but trees are going to have to be cut down and put into a perfect dome shape for this to slide over. Uh, you may look up and find the right trees and can bend them over, but it ain't working on this. So let's go inside. Take a look. Ooh. What I'm going to do is I've got a light in here, and I'm going to I'm going to bungee cord it to the roof like a lantern. All right, so let me crawl in. Let me see. Okay, there we go. All right, now see my head is completely under here. So hold it up under there, Nick. See if you can scoot a little closer. Now let's choose a place up here. Uh, let's see. You could actually have two lanterns up in there. Uh, let's see. All right, so there's my light. And then I can put another light here. Let's shine inside here. You mean to hold that camera for a second? I got it. All right. Can you look inside here and see? See where that vine is? Yeah. Shine now, your light on it. Yeah. See right there? You really need another tree or a vine going over here. And I think this will be okay right here. 
Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. Let's, let's zip this up. Look at that. That's, that's part of the problem there. See, the problem with this thing is, here, can you grab it and zip that? Zip that right there. All right, let's stop right there. Right there. Oh, yeah, look at that, uh, maybe kind of... Oh, that's a lot better. See, I'm still under here. I stuck the zipper through this. That should hold it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I noticed it looked like it wanted to come unzipped, so I just shoved it in there. Hey, make do with what you got. That's right. All right, now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And I think there will be room to sleep in here like this. Let me have the camera a minute. I'm going to show you the inside view of this. All right. Here's where my head will be. Now, I'm going to have to do something about this because it's not covered up. If rain catches it, I'm going to have to lift this up and attach it to that. All right, now, let's see. My feet, it's just barely enough. I'm going to have to experiment with this a lot more. As you can see, see what I was talking about, about those limbs? Look at that right there. See? Looks cozy. And look, there's a limb right up there. See that limb right up there? It's, it's holding it. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it won't win a beauty contest, but, you know, if you don't like this kind of stuff, you need to buy a tent. <laughs> All right, here you go, Nick. Let's go back outside. Uh, I always plan these videos out thinking that I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and all this kind of stuff. And it's magically going to work. Oh, yeah. It's going, oh, I'm going to set up this neat little shelter with my, my, my mattress in it. And we're going to film in there and I'm going to have my table. But I'm going to make a shelter with a golf cart tent. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, in reality, I mean, this will work. It doesn't look pretty, but it yeah. works. And there's no, no room. There's room in there to sleep, and that's it. So, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the table. If I can Oof. find it. Here it is. All right, let's grab a couple of things here. All right. Now, the table, what you want to do, I'm going to move this inside later. Uh, but for now, I'm going to set it up here. And what it is is you take four sticks of whatever height that you want, and you take two of them. And you stick them in the ground like that. Can you see from there? Yeah. Mostly. And you stick them in the ground just like that. And see, that gives you a nice little table for putting stuff on. And I'm mm -hmm. probably going to move it right inside here tonight. We need to move these stakes. Yeah, I need to stake that thing out. So. Yeah, I'll probably put it right there. But anyway, isn't it neat? Yeah. So, that'll be a neat little table there that you can, like, put your cell phone and your alarm clock and all that. And I got room to put it right there. So, that ought to work. Okay, so, that's that. It's a piece of plexiglass, plexiglass or a piece of uh, Lexan and... You just drill four holes in it. That's all there is to it. So, yeah. Now, I think this is going to be kind of neat because we're going to talk about this right before it gets dark. But, camo panels. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have, there's a bunch of different fabrics and there's a whole bunch of brown in this. This is like, I think, real tree. And this is true timber conceal and you can see it's kind of got some green and some white in it now the idea behind this is it is a panel it's one yard of fabric okay one yard by 60 inches and you don't want it too big and of course you don't want it too little and so I'm still experimenting on the size it needs to be but what this is is for concealment or if you don't want to be seen now <clears throat> It's either for if you're hiking stealthy, if you're trying to hide from somebody, 
if you're trying to photograph wildlife or who knows maybe even if you're wanting to run into bigfoot but this thing the idea is, is it's supposed to be small enough that you can slide into your pocket and whenever you're walking through the woods you want to be able to pull it out real quick and hide now for example let's take a look at this mess right here okay. what a beautiful mess All right, this is a mess i'm hiding somewhere okay i mean i'm hiking and i hear something walking okay and i don't want to be seen for whatever reason so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dash inside here I'm going to kneel down. Now, you might think this is somewhat concealed, but can you still see me, Nick? Yeah. All right. If I have a panel with me. You're still wearing camo, though. If I were just walking up through here, well, I mean, it I might be hard at first face. a little bit. But. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, is this any better? Uh, Yeah. All right, I'm going to drop it down. Yeah, I can see you a lot better now. See? Now, from a distance, it's going to be even better. It's still, though, obviously somebody holding up something, well, Nick, a big rectangle sheet. You're all... <laughs> It'd be better if you would drape it over your head. Wait a minute, you're only 10 feet away. But, I mean, I just wanted to kind of show the basic idea. Now, let's go over there, and I'm going to be in the grass. And tell me, it may, it may be a stupid idea. Okay, right, I'm just gonna stand right here. No, spin the camera around. Oh, okay. Well, I think the here, I'll spin the camera around, but I'm not gonna look. So, I'll try and see if I could just see you. Yeah, you might want to go further. I can still hear you. Oh, whatever. Alright. Does that do anything? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of obvious with the grass there. Let's <laughs> find another spot. That's kind of obvious. <laughs> well, now, see, true timber makes a camo. I don't know. You got to mat. You got to get the right camo for what you're sitting in. But here's the thing. This matches an oak tree. So let's go up here. Like, I think what you're wearing hides you better than that. Yeah, but there's green in it. But yeah, you're right. That's why I was showing the other camo that had like the brown in it. Let's find an oak tree from a distance and see what that does, okay? All right. All right. So How many feet away are from you? About 20 feet? Sure. All right. Now, if I hear somebody coming, I'm going to squat down. You're already pretty hard to see. But you can see my head and my hands, right? Yeah. Alright. Tell me if this is any better. See, that's way better. You're not holding out an obvious rectangle. You have it traipsed over your head. So that's better. How about if I want to peep over the top? Oh, yeah, I can see your head. <laughs> so it needs peep holes. Yeah, peep holes. But if I wanted to hide, that, that does, you wouldn't notice this from a distance? No. Right. See, the one. problem is holding it up like a big rectangle where you can see. Is that rectangular patch of, obviously, fake woods <laughs> all right so i'm over here next to this small tree and it probably really worked good with a big tree but let's say i'm standing here and you can see me i squat down wow where did he go <laughs> i don't see anything do y'all see anything i certainly don't see anything Whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> All right, one more and then we'll be done. <laughs>
I'm starting to get worried here. I've been sitting here looking for him for like 30 minutes here now. And I really just don't know where he went. It's quite amazing. There he is. What are we, 10, 15 feet away? Maybe. I don't know. Now, whether or not the idea was a success, this is a first time concept. And it is an idea that I'm kind of, you know, tossing around showing y'all. Now, the other thing about this is, let's say, for example, you're camping somewhere and you got a campfire and you're not necessarily trespassing but you just don't want somebody coming and bothering you so this thing has small pieces on the end that you could either bungee cord it to a branch or you could cut two sticks and just stab it in the ground like that okay let's say for example yeah but what square rectangle problem no but what i'm saying is from a distance at night is what this well, is the nighttime about. will do it. Yeah, this will just be something handy that not only can it be a, some sort of a daytime camo, but it's a very, very lightweight shield. And what it is, is let's say that the Appalachian Trail is right there, or the Penhody Trail, and you're going into the woods about 20 feet, and you're going to have a fire, and you don't want some crazy murderer coming after you. Well, set this up and have your fire behind it. Yep. See, does that make sense? Can't stab, help you with the smoke. Stab two sticks in there, you know. And if you can figure out what the prevailing wind <laughs> is, it can help block the wind. So, isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, one more thing before it gets dark. All right, let's go take All a right, look. real quick, like, what I'm going to do is I want to show you this. And I brought this other bag because I was talking to a friend about it. And he was saying something about when you buy cheap sleeping bags, say, for example, they have... Uh, they say like uh, 30 degree rating. Well, if they just say 30 deg degree rating, uh, that's, I don't know, that's, that's just something the manufacturer's saying. Some of the more expensive bags, like this North Face here, they're a little more truthful with what they say. And uh, let me unzip this here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you got that light on there. I'm holding the light and the camera. Now look. This says on here, this is a North Face Aleutian, okay? Now, let's take a look here. It says 20 degree Fahrenheit. Now, this, here's the truth chart. Yep. See if you can shine don't that light it. on it. Oh, I mean, you, you, I can see it on the viewfinder. I just don't know. Well, when I edit it, okay, right here, the comfort zone is 30 degrees. Even though it says it's a 20 degree bag. And the limit, it says, is 19 Fahrenheit. And this is 14 degree Fahrenheit under extreme. And what this is, is the survival rating. You will not be comfortable, but you won't die at this temperature. You'll be comfortable at 30 degrees, even though it's a 20 degree bag. All right? Yep. Now, like I say, you're gonna look for that little thing right there. There's a name for that rating, and I can't remember what it is. But anyway, another thing is whenever you, these expensive bags here, when you look at them at the store, instead of order them, the top insulation will be very thick, and the insulation on the bottom will be very thin. And that's because they put the bulk of the insulation in the top, because whatever's on the bottom, you're going to crush. All right? Mm hmm. Did you hear that? Yeah. What is that? A late night wildlife. Man. Is that All a right. cougar? Huh? Is that a cougar? I don't know. <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, uh, all right, so <laughs> let's, let's get this thing. You look a mountain lion. <laughs> all right, let's get this. Uh, we got to get your hammock set up, and then I'm going to crawl in here, and we're going to call it a night. And thankfully, uh, honestly, I'll, I'll be to totally truthful with you. If rain was expected, we would go home <laughs> with this setup. I, I wouldn't even want to deal with it. Uh, what? Oh, I'm just talking about the shelter. Okay, but anyway, there's not supposed to be any rain, so I think I'll be good here tonight. And I've got this complete sleeping bag that I'll crawl inside, so it's it's not that big of a deal. All right. So anyway, uh, anything you want to add? Uh, well, live and learn. Live and yep. learn. It's an experiment. What can I live say? and learn? Yeah, and in the future, I'm golf cart use... covers do not make good shelters. <laughs> no, they do good for covering golf carts from the weather, but. In, in shelters, the, uh, 
in the future maybe now. Wanna in the future, from that. what? <laughs> maybe uh, want to refrain from that. Yeah. In the future, though, I'll, I'll I'll try to set up some. I'll try to set up some arched sticks. Oh. I'll set up some arched sticks, and uh, I'll try to set it up to where it actually looks like yeah, like an igloo, Quincy type shape. So, all right, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is a mess. I'm tired. <laughs> let's go. Let's before these batteries die on the flashlights. Let's go set your hammock up. Oh, one more thing. Something else I'm thinking about is carrying lights like this. Right there. Yep. When you walk off, say you got to get up, and if for any reason you're going to go away from your shelter, leave that. All right. Or maybe even let's see how it looks up here. So that's definitely pretty easy to see over there. <laughs> Just hanging there. Yeah. Or see if you've gotten to a campsite early and you've got a partner coming. All right. Let's see how that looks off in the distance. Mm. Let's go way up the hill up there and take a look. So I think we can all find the blinking light here. Yeah. All right. I hope you had fun. Uh, I kind of had fun. I wish. I wish this dome would have turned out a little bit better. Sorry if the lighting looks like something out of a horror movie when he's pointing the camera, the light directly at his face. Yeah, how's that look? This looks like something out of a horror movie. You're going to give everybody nightmares tonight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that dome will work like it is, but, you know, it ain't going to win a beauty contest. But that's the basic idea. Uh, don't run out and buy one yet until I've experimented with it a little bit more. And I will experiment with it more. And if I can't get it perfect, I'm going to come back on the second video in the future and say, don't even try this. Just stick to a tarp. <laughs> but the problem with using a tarp like a dome is it's got to be giant. You know what I'm saying? At least this is dome shaped. So, all right. Mm -hmm. Hope you had fun. I uh, hope you learned something, Nick. Oh, that's better. Is that better? I forgot I had a light on my wrist. Okay, now you're blinding me. All right. Hang on, it's going to dimmer. All right. Hope y'all had fun. Wait, that's too much. Nick, anything you want to add? <laughs> uh, don't try to film after uh, dark. Yeah, I hate I hate filming after dark. <laughs> I hate it. And, and remember to recharge your batteries if you do film. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, y'all get out and enjoy life. Uh, stay warm. Uh, and we shall see you in the next one. See you later.